In this video, we will use Cinemachine Camera Package to implement a camera that follows our player around, as well as we will confine the camera to be inside the bounds of our map, so it will never go outside of those bounds where we have painted our tiles on our tile map. Okay, let's get going. This video is part of the series of videos about creating a 2D top-down tank game. We will explore different features of this game, each as a standalone video. Hi, I'm Peter and welcome to Sunny Valley Studio Tutorials. Currently in our game, when we move our player tank, the tank is being moved, but the camera stays in place. First of all, we are going to go to the window and select the package manager. The additional window should pop up. I will dock it in the top left corner of Unity. I will select the packages Unity registry and I will search for Cine Machine. And there should be the Cine Machine package. We're going to install it in our project. It will take some time to import it, but after a while it should be imported. Okay, so the Cine Machine is installed. I can see remove button, so I can only remove it. I'm going to right click and close this package manager. And now at the top of our Unity, we should see Cine Machine a drop down button. And we can see that we have multiple virtual cameras that we can create. Now for our 2D game, we will need to create a 2D camera. So let's select this one. Let's click it. And as you can see, our camera has been moved. And right now we have uh, this CMV Cam 1 added to our scene. Let's rename it to Player Cine Machine. When we click on it, we can see that it has on it the Cine Machine Virtual Camera component. And our main camera right now has the camera as well as the Cine Machine Brain, which has all the options that we want to tweak to modify how our camera will act or react. So we can see that, for example, we have the update method. When should it update? Smart update means that it will select the update based of the logic of its, but we have also the fixed update. So we only want to modify the position of our camera using the physics engine or the late update or manual update so we can do it by hand. In any case, there are a lot of options here. We are not going to explore every one of those, but let's go to our player Cinemachine camera since this is the core component that we want to modify. So the most important thing for us is the follow and look at uh, parameters here in our Cinemachine camera, since those are fields where we want to drag our transform of our player. And in our game, our player does not move, but our tank does. So we want to drag our tank from our player game object and when we drag it into our follow, we can see that now our view in our game has changed. And this is because we have enabled the game window guides or it was enabled by default. If we disable it, it is gone. We want to enable it because I will explain how it works very soon. Next, we want to also drag our tank to be looked at. Okay, and this will make sure that our camera always look at our tank. Now, for the simplest setup, this would be it, because right now we can press play and our tank will be followed by our camera. And you can see that it is almost instantaneous, but that's not exactly what we want to have. And we have a lot more options to tweak this behavior. So, for now, our Cinemachine camera is driving our main camera. So, what we want to do is first, let's explore the lens option. And it has now our orthographic size, near clip plane and far clip plane. We do not want to play around with those much, but I want to set the orthographic size to be something like 3.5, so that we have a closer view on our tank. Now, so all of those settings, if you try changing them in the main camera, if I try to change the, the size of it, it will not work because it is driven by the Cine Machine on our player, uh, player Cine Machine object. Now, this means that we need to drive all those settings through this Cinemachine Virtual Camera script. And that's why I want to show it to you. For now, let's focus on the body of our Cinemachine Virtual Camera component. Here are a lot of options that we can tweak. And those are connected with the game windows guides that we can see on our screen in our game view. 
So the darker area is the uh, hard zone. So this will, this means that if our tank is here, our camera should instantaneously focus on our tank. We have uh, the lighter area here, which is the soft zone, which means that our camera will slowly follow our tank and it will try to catch up with it. And we can modify it at the bottom of the body section using those soft zone width and height. As you can see, we can drag it like this. So if our tank moves towards this area, so let's decrease it and let's check how it will work. Okay. So if we press play now, our camera should almost instantaneously follow our tank. Now, if we do not want this, we can extend this soft zone and even we can use the dead zone modifiers that are above the soft zone to create the area where our tank, let's drag the width and height to something like 0.2 and 0.2. So in this area, when we move, our camera will not be following our tank. Only when we drive outside of this area, it will start following our tank. Okay. And you can see that there is a small delay before our camera starts following the tank with the full speed. Okay, so those are the basic settings that we want to set. And there is the X and Y dumping, which allows us to set how aggressively the camera tries to maintain the offset in the Y axis. So this means that if we set it to something like 3 and 3 on X and Y, we will see that our tank, uh, our camera will much slower start following the tank. So we can see that it is um, slowly starting to follow our tank. And only after some time, it will start closing on our tank and start to, to uh, follow it along. So basically, you want to set it to low value if your uh, game is very expressive and you want the camera to stay constantly on the player. When we have our tank and right now we have a pretty fast uh, setting in our movement data, let's set the max speed to something like 60. And when we select our player cinemation camera and set it to something like 2 and 2, we will see that our tank will move pretty slowly. And the camera will start following it pretty slowly as well, so we can create some kind of experience when our tank feels much more heavy than a player that moves, so maybe a human avatar that moves very quickly and we want our camera to stay on it. So you might want to play around with those settings. And this is how we can make our camera follow our avatar. Now, second thing that we want to explore is how to make our camera not look outside of the map that we have created. One thing that we could do is of course add more tiling, but I do not want to do that. I want to enclose our camera to only look at the area that we have painted with our tiles. And to do that, at the bottom of our Cinemachine Virtual Camera, we have something called extensions. And we have a lot of extensions. One of those is a pixel perfect camera, which we can add to make sure that our camera will uh, modify the look of our game to adjust to the pixel graphics of our game. And another extension that we want, may want to add is the camera confiner. And this is the extension that will allow us to confine our camera inside our map. And right now it wants a bounding shape. It requires a collider 2D. So let's create right click a new game object in our hierarchy. Let's call it camera collider or camera confiner. Okay, let's reset its position, its transform. Okay, and we are going to add Polygon Collider 2D. Okay, and now we should see this funny looking collider on our map. And we can modify it using the Edit Collider and we can modify the number of points, expanding the points path and we can see the size is 1 and elements is 5. I want to set elements to 4 because we have only 4 corners of our map. I'm going to click on this edit collider and I'm going to select the vertices of our collider and I can drag them to fit our map. Okay, something like this. And I can modify the positions of all the colliders so that they fit our map. Okay. 
and this is the last one let's modify it and let's make sure that it fits our map as we want it to okay and this should work pretty well so now next thing that is very important is because this is a collider we want to set it to be is trigger to be true so we want to check this box because otherwise everything on our map will collide with our collider now this is not everything that we will need to do but let me explain it step by step right now we need to go back to our uh, player cinema machine and we need to drag it the camera confiner as the bounding shape 2d now if we press play the camera will never exit our map and instead our tank will stay not in the center but will drive towards the corners because our camera will not be following it when we are close to the corner of our confiner of our camera so as you can see we are now only seeing the tiles that we have painted on our tile map great but there is one issue with our setup so let me go to our tank turret parent tank turret and we should have the turret script on it i'm going to edit it using the visual studio okay the turret script is responsible for shooting the bullets from our tank turret so let's slide it down and we have our shoot mechanic i'm going to paste in the for each loop where we get all the barrels on our turret and i'm going to paste this code so this simply gets the var hit equals physics 2d dot raycast so it performs a raycast from the barrel dot position in the direction barrel dot up which is just in front of the turret and if this hit dot collider is not null so we have detected something using our raycast we're going to debug dot log the hit collider dot name so the name of the game object that we have detected with our raycast let's save it let's go back to unity and when we press play you can see that nothing really strange happens if we shoot we can see that we have uh, detected the obstacles small which is this area if we shoot at the enemy we have detected the enemy tank but this is only because in the earlier video of the series we have changed in the edit project settings and uh, let me drag the window in the top left corner of unity in the physics 2d settings we have deselected the queries start in colliders which makes our raycast not detect the collider that they start in now if by any chance you have this selected as true and you play press play you will see that now our barrel which is on our tank which is here so it is not inside our collider of our tank if we shoot now it is detecting the camera confiner so to avoid this we can select our camera confiner so let's stop the game let's select our camera confiner and let's set its layer to be ignore raycast now, now unfortunately i do not know about the documentation for this layer but basically it should make the raycast ignore objects on this layer so now if you press play we should see that we again should be detecting the obstacles small and not the camera confiner now of course for our game since our tank turrets in our enemies can start the recast in the collider of our tanks we need to set the in the edit project settings we need to uncheck the queries start in collider but this can cause you some issues and this is not very clear how to fix it so this is why i have shown you this issue so you may want to set the camera confiner to be on the layer ignore raycast just to make sure that you know how to deal with this issue if you have experienced it so now if we press play we should have the camera following our player and now we should be able to follow the uh, player avatar further inside our map so we should be able to now check what is here and this is the area that we have created in the very first tutorial in the first first video of this tutorial series so this concludes our video about the cinema machine and how to make our camera follow our player i hope you have enjoyed this video if you want to support me please take a look at my patreon website check out my udemy course about creating a 2d top-down shooter using the urp and unt 2020 there will be a link with a discount in the description if you are interested please leave a like leave a comment subscribe to the channel 
and I will see you in the next video. Take care.